Hi friends, how are you? I hope you all are doing well. My name is Sanju and welcome to my channel English with Sanju. And uh, we are at chapter 7 of Jane Eyre and we are at page 25. Watch the full video. That's a humble request. I decided that I had been a stupid young woman. After last night, I had dared to hope that Mr. Rochester would love me. I saw now that I had been a fool. I was a plain little governess whom Mr. Rochester paid. How could he love me? A week passed. Then, one morning, a letter arrived for Mrs. Fairfax. Well, she said that she had read it. We will very we will be very busy for the next few weeks at least. I tried not to show my feelings and I asked quietly, Mr. Rochester isn't coming home, is he? Yes, he is, she replied. On Thursday, he says, he's bringing a lot of grand people with him too. We are going to be busy, Jane. Adele was very excited about the grand ladies and the gentlemen who were coming. She saw them first as they rode up to the house. There were four people on horses in front and behind them were two coaches. Mr. Rochester was riding one of the horses in front and beside him I saw a beautiful woman. That's Miss Ingram, Mrs. Fairfax told me. She's more beautiful than ever. Mr. Rochester sent a message upstairs. He wanted Adele and me to go to the sitting room after dinner. I did not want to go, but Mrs. Fairfax told me that Mr. Rochester had asked for it specially. I was a little frightened when we went down. How would all these grand people behave towards me, a poor governess? But Adele was very excited. At last, she was going to see the, all the beautiful ladies. The visitors had not finished dinner when we went into the sitting room. I sat down in one corner. If possible, I did not want the visitors to notice me. I hope the video was useful for you. Please like.